Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at the leader and multi-leader commands in AutoCAD 2016. Here I am in a drawing. I'm in the annotate tab of the ribbon. Under There is a panel called leaders and there are tools in here to help you create the leaders that you need to work with. We have the style selector here that we can go in and select and drop down. You'll see um, annotative ones and non-annotative ones. Let's work with a non-annotative one for now. The multi-leader command is here. <coughs> if you need to look at the properties of the multi-leaders that you're working with, the styles, click this arrowhead here and get to the multi-leader style manager. It'll take you to this window. You can select the one you want to work with and you can click uh, modify. It'll bring up this window and you can see all the property information. So for example, we can say spline, we can say a specific color, uh, we can say a specific arrowhead point and the leader structure and the content and so on and so forth. Okay, so you can make any adjustments that you need to make for each of them. If I use the multi-leader command and I start it, it'll ask me in the command line, specify leader arrowhead locations. So I'm going to pick just some random point, click where I want to um, place it, and then I can start typing because this standard multi-leader style is mtext based, so I'm going to say test. And once you click out into space, the command is finished. If you want to, um, you can do the multi-leader command and say leader landing first instead, pick a point, and then pick your arrowhead point location, and put your information in. You can also specify content first, whoops, and do the mtext box. This is a test of text. Click out into space to finish the mtext command portion of it. Click where you want the arrowhead point to go. And then lastly, uh, you have options as well. And you can go in here and you can specify one of these options if you need to. Remember, it does remember what you're working with and what you had set last. So when you're using this command, make sure you put it back to the original if you're used to that. So leader arrowhead first. <clears throat> if you're working with, let's head over to paper space, let's delete this, let's create, an, uh, create a viewport, and let's go into this viewport, and we'll set the scale to eighth inch, no, nope, too small. Let's set it to Roll that down, say three inches equal to a foot, and let's go six inches equal to a foot. All right, and then we'll lock it so it doesn't get messed up. And if we go to the properties, just to double check, the annotation scale should be the same by default. Good. So now that we're in here, I'm going to zoom in, and we're going to use the multi-leader command We'll make sure my mouse is inside the viewport. We'll switch the multi-leader style to say tag number. We'll click multi-leader and we'll place a few of them. All right, now that we've done this, <clears throat> there are a couple of tools that we can work with. For example, we can add a leader, and when we use this command, we can pick the leader that we want to work with, and we can just keep clicking to place them, and you'll notice that they also uh, justify left or right. You can click Remove Leader, pick the one you want to work with, and start picking the leaders you want to get rid of, and hit Enter, and those leaders will go away. You can click this button here to align the uh, multi-leaders, and when you do this command, it will ask you um, to pick the 
leaders to align. Hit enter and it'll say select multi leader to align to. So I'll pick this one. And if I have my ortho turned on, I can align it horizontally or vertically. I'll do it horizontally for now. This one, which is collect, allows you to pick all the leaders that you want to work with. Hit enter and it will collect all of them into a single one. And there you go. And that's it. That's a quick uh, tutorial on multi leaders in AutoCAD 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.